Welcome to Cubic Farms, located in Pitt Meadows, British Columbia. I want to take you on a virtual tour today. Come on inside. So here at Cubic Farms, we are Global Gap certified. And what we do is we have to wear our hair net and our beard net to control and reduce any contamination. So the next thing we do, we want to sign in all of our guests that come as well as our workers. And the final thing before we come in is our hand sanitizer. Let's head on in. So welcome inside our facility. Before we uh, get into the machine or touch anything, we want to make sure our hands have gloves on them to reduce any contamination. This is our Cubic Farms Research and Development Facility, where we have 11 growing machines, a propagation machine, storage container, and an irrigation system, all set up as a small commercial-scale R&D Cubic Farm where we grow, test, and learn to grow different crops. So you can bring your tables and workspace up at the very front of the machine to do all of your packaging, your seeding, your harvesting, whatever activity you're doing. Let's check out an empty machine. So this is an empty cubic farm. It's 40 feet long, eight feet wide, and nine and a half feet tall. What we have is two rows of chain on either side which can house over 250 trays growing at any one time. There's a central irrigation reservoir, so we can recirculate and reuse the majority of the water that we are using to grow the product. We have one row of light on top, one source on both sides, and one central air ducting, which releases CO2 and controls the humidity and the temperature as well inside of this cubic farm. Let's check out the rear of the machine. So at the back of each cubic farm, we have two motors, one on either side, which lift up the trays, which then push the trays to the farmer at the front of the container. We have a back door if you had to access the control panel and the control panel, which controls the cubic farm system. So at the rear end of each cubic farm machine, we have a central HVAC unit that controls the overall environment inside of each machine. At the rear end of each machine, we have the motor and lifting system, and you'll see this lift each tray very smoothly. So next is our germination machine. This is where we germinate the crop and have a perfect distribution of propagated seedlings. So this machine is laid out identical to every growing machine, but the difference for this one is we use a different tray, which is a thinner spine tray. As well, we have a different watering system. To germinate a perfect crop, you need the perfect watering system. So we have a mechanism down below here that lifts up and waters the underside of each crop here. Cubic Farms propagation machine germinates crops from seed to seedlings at commercial scale and at a high density. Up to 120,000 seedlings germinate in a minimum two weeks time, which are then ready for transplant. Our propagation machine germinates crops for nurseries and greenhouses. This Cubic Farm propagation machine can germinate crops such as tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, flowers, or anything else you might want to grow for your business. We've successfully cloned crops such as trees and vegetable plants. The Cubic Farms propagation machine is very flexible to germinate any crop. There's over 250 trays inside of each machine. And as you can see here, each tray with the even distribution of propagated plants, we air prune on the bottom. So we water from the underside, a perfect even distribution of water and nutrients for each tray. With the air pruning and the proprietary watering machine, we can perfectly germinate these crops. We improve the cycle and speed of the growth and improve the overall germination success rate in this machine. We keep it in here for about two weeks and then we manually transplant into the growing machine. So the Cubic Farm growing machine, as you can see here, we can grow amazing lettuce. So similar to the germination machine, we have over 250 trays inside of one machine. We have one central location for watering as well. 
very similar to all the machines, one row of light, a central air ducting, and we can control the overall environment inside of this cubic farm. So once it gets watered, the water will travel throughout the whole entire tray. Any excess water goes into our cup on the side and then dumped into our reservoir. This reservoir then recirculates, which we can reuse all of the water that goes into this machine. Through our filtration system, all the water gets fed back to the dosing point. On average, it takes two weeks of germination and three weeks of growth to grow a large batch of lettuce similar to this size. The benefit of using and operating a cubic farm is we can do everything from the touch of a button. We can change the room temperature, humidity, CO2 levels, the lighting schedules, and we can monitor the entire system from our smartphone device. This is our irrigation system. So we have many drums inside of this container, which then we filter the perfect amount of nutrients and water that feeds to every cubic farm machine. Each cubic farm machine consumes about 100 liters of water per day, which we can reuse a lot of that water. For this amount of water, it can feed up to 50 cubic farm machines. At this cubic farm, we grow our lettuces, which you just saw, but we're also growing herbs. Tastes delicious and it grows perfectly. Each tray will house roughly 88 plugs. Here at Cubic Farms, we are trying and really researching and developing many new crops, especially herbs, to grow worldwide. So for harvesting all of our crops, focusing on lettuce right now, you can set up your workstation right in front of the machine. So as we've mentioned before, all the produce comes to the farmer at the front. So you can set up your tables and assemble your team accordingly to harvest the product. To take out the produce, you simply take the root out like so, and then if you're packaging, you can wrap the roots around the product. And this full head of lettuce is ready to eat. It's a perfect head of lettuce. There's no pesticides, no E. coli. It takes about one liter to grow of water in comparison to much more in a farmer's field. And for this head of lettuce, if you want to eat it, all you do is take the root off and you're ready to eat a whole head of lettuce. So with our cubic farm, all of our machines are focusing around our central work area. So we have central drainage on uh, multiple sites of this floor. So at the end of the day, you can push all of the water to the drainage and clean up the facility very quickly. So this is our container that we keep all of our seeds, packaging, extra lab coats and hair nets, all of our consumables ready to go for our employees and farmers to quickly grab and grow more product. Thank you for joining us today on this tour. We hope you enjoyed this time. We invite you to come see us in person as well. We're here located in Pitt Meadows, British Columbia. We'll see you soon.